Hi makers, welcome back to Umake Tech. In today's episode, I show you how to print with flexible filaments on the Ender 3 Pro. As an example, I print RC car tires for my OpenRC F1 using TPU from Sunlu. Flexible filaments are notoriously difficult to print due to their elasticity. I think there are basically two reasons. One, most 3D printers are not designed to print flexible filaments out of the box. In the first part of this video, I present two simple and cost-free upgrades you should consider before printing flexible filaments. Two, the software settings for printing flexible filaments are very different from the normal setting used to print PLA. In the second part of this video, I show you the best Cura settings to print with flexible filaments. Ok, let's get started. The first upgrade I highly recommend is to convert your 3D printer to direct drive. The distance between the drive gear and the melt zone of the hot end needs to be as short as possible to efficiently feed the filament into the nozzle. Additionally, the pathway through which the filament travels into the melt zone should have tight tolerances to prevent the filament from kinking or coiling inside. Upgrading the Ender 3 Pro to direct drive can be done easily and at no cost, using only 3D printed parts. I released a video showing step by step how to do it. If you haven't seen this video yet, I put a link in the description. The second upgrade that is worth considering is to mount the filament spool hub on bearings to allow the spool to spin as freely as possible. Reducing the resistance from the filament spool is beneficial, as it allows for a consistent and steady feed rate. Believe it or not, this spool upgrade has a non-negliging impact on the overall printing quality. Now let's talk about the best Cura settings for printing TPU. I use a concentric infill pattern with a 10% infill. The concentric infill patterns allow to support horizontal surfaces but keep the part elastic. I initially used the cubic infill pattern but the part was way too rigid. For the printing temperature, Sunlu recommends to use a printing temperature between 205 and 230 degrees C. I tried several temperatures in this range and ended up using 220 degrees C. Lower temperatures sometimes resulted in under extrusion. For the bed temperature, there is no need to heat up the bed for TPU, therefore I used 30 degrees C. Regarding the printing speed, you want to print very slowly. 20 mm per second works very well. I managed to go up to 50 mm per second. Flexible filaments typically print best using a slow and consistent feed rate. Because the material is elastic, it can be very difficult to control sudden changes in the print speed. Higher print speeds can cause a filament to compress and will most likely result in a jam. Slow and steady is the best approach. Another thing is to disable retraction completely. Retraction can be particularly troublesome for flexible materials. The elastic nature of flexible filament makes it sensitive to quick movements such as retraction. I just switched retractions off. Finally, I enabled combing mode. Combing mode keeps the nozzle within already printed area when traveling. Instead of moving in a straight line from point A to point B, the software will actually choose a completely new path when moving between these points, with the goal of staying within the interior of the object so that there won't be any oozing or stringing. I keep combing mode enabled for PLA too, but for flexible filaments, it's a must. I disable cooling. No cooling is required to print TPU. Alright, that's it for today. I hope you will have no fear printing flexible filaments after watching this video. Please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you soon on UMEC Tech.